Okay, so A2, hey, uh, this is Life 49X, and today I'm coming up with a video about how to unlock the T Mobile Samsung S6. Now, usually, uh, when you get this phone, you have to either, well, you, you get it, uh, you have to pay um, the, mo the phone up front, and you can unlock it in, I guess, three days or in a week when you, if you pay the phone in full. So I have the S6 here, and I, I have it on. I'm, I have it in payments, so basically I can't unlock it yet because I haven't paid pay for it yet. And this is usually um, now I'm gonna show you how to unlock it without needing. I mean, if you if you can't wait and pay the full amount and you have to use it somewhere else overseas, basically I'm gonna help you. Now, once you put a SIM card that's not from T-Mobile, as you can see here. Now, as you can see here, it says uh, network unlock, and it's telling you that on, the only way to you unlock it is to remotely unlock. So that means you have to call T-Mobile, you have to have the phone paid off, and then unlock it. So this is a Cricut SIM card, so it has service. So now to get around this, uh, you're going to uh, have to just, you're going to flash uh, Metro PCS firmware in here. So it means that you're going to basically make this. A Metro PCS uh, phone. I mean, I could say a phone, but basically, all you're doing is putting a Metro PCS firmware. Uh, it's going to remove all the T Mobile apps and install the Metro PCS apps. And with that, we can get rid of this unlock screen, this lock remotely unlock screen. So, by doing that, we'll be able to put uh, a code like the unlock code you, you will order. Uh, you can order an unlock code any, anywhere online. So those are the steps. Now I'm gonna go to the computer here, and we're gonna flash it to Metro PCS, and we're gonna put the unlock code that I got, and we'll make a test call and see if it's working. So let me go to the computer. So we're back here on the computer, and these three files. This is the files you're gonna need to unlock your phone. This is your Metro PCS file. Uh, Odin to flash any firmware on your phone and your Samsung USB drivers. So always, every time I start a tutorial, I always say install the drivers for your phone. And that's how you, you get started. So install this. Now if you're going to install this on Windows 8.1 or 8, you have to disable the digital uh, Windows 8 digital sign drivers. So you just look, Google how to disable the, the digital sign drivers. It's pretty quick and easy because sometimes it won't work on your phone now this is the uh, Metro PCS firmware I'm just gonna drag and drop it out and we're gonna wait until we're gonna wait until this thing is extracted so it should be pretty quick depending on your computer let's see Now, once when once you're doing this, you should just go on your phone and boot up on Odin mode. Okay, so we're going back to the phone, and and we're gonna boot up into Odin mode. So all you have to do is turn off your phone, power off. Now, in the beginning, I showed you that I couldn't. It didn't even. Uh, I put a, a Cricut SIM card, and it uh, it was asking me to remotely unlock the phone by calling T-Mobile. So we're gonna skip that, and we're gonna get a a prompt. We're trying to get the prompt to unlock the the phone. So we're just gonna basically all you have to do is hold power down and the home button, and hit a uh, power. So power down, uh, volume down, home button down. You get the screen and you click up volume down and connect your usb cable all right so in the computer it should uh, be recognizing the drivers uh if you never installed the uh, samsung drivers so this this is the thing you should get so uh, i'm fine so open odin the folder this is a folder you're gonna um, probably upload I'll, I'll upload it for you guys so all you have to do is just extract it and you have the folder this is the Metro PCS, uh, Metro PCS firmware, 
and we're going to drag it in the Odin folder. So here you're just going to right click, run administrator, and we're going to see what. Okay, right here it says COM11. That means uh, the Samsung phone was detected. And all, you all you're going to have to do is just go to um, AP, click on it, and we're going to look for the for the file. So we put it we put it on the it's on my desktop and it's gonna be in the folder called Odin 3.10. And this is the file. So now now it's gonna take probably maybe a minute because it's like a, a gig, maybe I have a gig point or maybe two gigs. Just this is the literally this is the whole framework for the Metro PCS file. So guys remember to back up your phone before doing this. If you have any pictures, music you're gonna have to like drag it. I mean, you know, uh, back it up because um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't delete anything on your phone. But just just in case, make back, make a backup because all, all all this this is gonna do is just replace the T-Mobile firmware with the Metro PCS firmware. You're gonna have all the apps, but I, I suggest to start new. So this is just uh, the file. So we're just gonna start. Click start. Okay, so as you can see, everything's um, it's going. It's everything on the phone. It seems like it's going fine. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it's pass, and on over there on the on the galaxy, it's loading. Now after this, if it says pass, you're fine. You you completed everything successful. So that means we're gonna we're gonna actually be able to see. We're gonna get the Metro PCS firmware. On. It's already on it, and this you can just close. If it says fail, you're gonna you're gonna have to try a new computer, either a Windows Seven computer, and that's the phone booting and or try a different uh, USB cable and don't don't try the cheap ones you have to use like the one that came on your phone so you're gonna exit out and pretty much we're done here on the on the computer side all right guys so your your phone should have booted and it as you can see it still says invalid sim card now as you can see now we're in the Metro PCS firmware and now it's asking you for a sim network unlock ping so we got rid of the other screen the remotely unlock screen so we're gonna unlock the phone now so we're gonna now the point of the video was to remove the Timur firmware and put a metro pcs firmware so we can get this prompt and i'm gonna put the code that i got i bought a code on ebay so you can do that if you want mine's eight one nine one five two eight Two. Now every phone is different, so this is my code. You, you, it won't work for yours. You have to buy a code, unlock, and network unlock successful. And there you have it. The phone is unlocked. It's it's right here. It says cricket. So as you can see, um, I'm getting a cricket notification. So I'm just gonna close that. Now let me dial. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So this is the cricket notifications, as you can see, it's working. Now I'm just going to dial my number. And call it. So in my, as you can see, it's working. So we know it's working. 
Now the downside of doing this is you're gonna have a. Um, it, it's gonna be always unlocked if it's on the Metro PCS firmware. And if you go back to the Timur firmware, I'll, I'll provide the link for the Timur firmware also. But if you go back to it, it's gonna be locked, and you're gonna be presented with the screen requesting you to remotely unlock the phone. So that's one of the downsides. So leave the so you can you have to stick with the Metro PCS firmware, and you'll be able to use your unlocked phone. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, I have all the Metro PCS apps, some T-Mobile apps. I guess they they fuse together, but pretty much it all right so guys thanks for watching and a couple of notes before ending the video is uh, make sure it's a 5.02 and not 5.1.1 because I know the update is out for this phone so I wouldn't recommend updating it I haven't tried it but I don't think you can downgrade so that's pretty much it so guys thanks for watching and let me know if this worked for you and if you have any questions uh, please comment on the video and if you don't mind, uh, if you can like the video for me. So thank you and goodbye.